Good evening everyone, hope you're well and had a lovely weekend. Uh, Max, Joe, me, my sister Lucy and her boyfriend Bert went to see ah. Beebe's Land. Didn't we? We went to see Beebe's Land. And did you enjoy it? Who did you see? Eagle Piggle? <laughs> and Upsy Daisy? And Maka Paka. Maka Paka Waka Woo Woo. Waka Waka Woo Woo. I don't even know the words, but you liked it. So, look at these rosy cheeks. What's going on with these rosy cheeks? I think we've got some more teeth coming, which is great. He's chewing on everything, dribbling a lot. And you woke up and you've got these rosy red cheeks. And it's 25 past 6. We're having another late dinner. I don't know what is going on with this the last couple of weeks for being late. Anyway, um, so yes, hope you had a lovely weekend. We went to see Beebe's Land, so I will do a little video on that and tell you about that. But I just wanted to give you a quick um, rundown of our, what we're going to be eating this week. Meal Plan Monday. That's my new catchphrase. Um, so shall we say what we're going to have this week? Today, Max has had, tonight, he's had fish fingers, <gasps> roasted new potatoes, um, sweet corn, peas and a cheese sauce. You ate quite a lot of it, didn't you? Do you want some more? But it's cold now. Yeah. Don't like it when it's cold, do you? I wouldn't either. Anyway, so we ate most of that. And I've just given him some tomato, go on then. Tomato and some cheese and some grapes. Do you want another grape? And then we're going to have a yogurt. And these little Yeo Valley yogurts are really good. Um, so, meal plan Monday. Tonight, Joe and I are going to have. I don't know what. Because I've only done. Oh no, I have. I've done five meals. Sorry. We're going to have Spanish omelette tonight because um, it's getting on a bit. We've both had a really busy, rough day, so just something simple. So we can sit down and catch up on Strictly and X Factor because I've got them to watch from the weekend because uh, we missed them. And Doc Martin's on at nine, so we've got so much to watch. Um, so, Spanish omelette tonight, so with whatever's... I don't know, whatever's in the fridge, we'll just whack it in. Slice the thin some potatoes up, put that in as well, make it a bit more substantial. Nice. Great. Tasty, tasty. Mmm. Really? Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that guy's got it. Um, tomorrow we're going to have roasted butternut squash mac and cheese. Macaroni and cheese with a bit of a twist. So we're going to um, dice up some butternut squash, roast that, and then whack that in as you do with a normal macaroni and cheese. And also I've got some streaky bacon. So I'm going to do some nice crispy, streaky, streaky bacon bits in there as well. Um, I always find like macaroni and cheese, so I, I love macaroni and cheese, but I love it jazzed up. I always put things in, whether it's peas or sweet corn or, you know, some thinly sliced leeks. Uh, and I always have ketchup with macaroni and cheese. Is there anyone else? Yes, yeah, that's good. Um, then the next day, Cajun chicken breast with couscous, uh, roasted veg, and some feta sprinkled on the top, and I'm loving. I don't know, I never used to be able to cook chicken breast. Like they were, they'd always be really dry, or just. I think because I'd always worry that they weren't cooked properly, so I'd like go way over the top. But my sister Lucy gave me their old George Foreman. Oh my god, it's amazing! It's like the best chicken breast ever. It's like so succulent and um, succulent. Um, and yeah, it's always, it looks like it's like five minutes or something. Would you like your yoghurt now? Where's your spoon? Where's your spoon? Do you want to lift the lid? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where's your spoon? On the floor. A few germs, summer. Um, so... Yes, we'll have that, chicken breast, yeah. Good old George Foreman, yeah, I love the George Foreman now. We're going through this again, are we? Come on then. Or you prefer the strap? Then, uh, 
Then we're going to have beef casserole on what night are we on now? Thursday night. Oh no, you're getting tired. Um, beef casserole with some sweet potato mash on Thursday. And then Friday is roast chicken. I'm going to do roast chicken with some jacket potatoes and salad. Um, and then, you know, usually there's some left over, so we can have like sandwiches the next day for the weekend. So that's the meal plan, Monday, bit of a rush, sorry about that. And um, I've started to do Abel and order our fruit and veg from Abel and Cole, just to see. I quite like the idea of going organic, um, especially as Max is eating like raw stuff, you know, more raw stuff now. I do like the idea, but I am conscious it is more expensive. So I figured... Abel and Carl, I think it works out actually a bit cheaper than, you know, buy stuff from the supermarket. So we'll see how we get on. The only thing which um, my friends and I were talking about earlier today is that the shelf life is obviously, it doesn't last as long. I mean, I put some carrots in the box last Friday and literally, I swear to God, two days later, they were so floppy. They were just like, as if they'd gone off. So you do have to use them up very quickly. Um, are we mucking around tonight? Yeah. We just, just can't be bothered, or would you like to do it yourself? Here you go then. Oh, you do it. You do it. Good boy. Good boy. We've been to soft play today with his little friend Georgie, haven't you? You had a great time. So I think we're all very tired and ready for bed. So that's it. Meal Plan Monday. Hope that's inspired you. Um, I will put in the comments box or the description box down below what we're having each day um, so that you've got an idea and if you want any recipes just let me know and if you like my channel please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow to talk about Sea Beebe's Land. Have a good evening, bye! Say bye! You'll get everywhere.